Have you ever been out in a forest or near a lake and heard this sound? That's a loon. Their unique calls can be heard up to a mile away. This is the recording of the common loon. And I think it's a beautiful bird call. It's melodic and mysterious sounding. But some people find the call of the loon to be a bit spooky. The red-throated loon in particular can sound quite screechy. Loons are aquatic birds. There are five different species, and they live in North America, Europe, and Asia. They all spend most of their time on water and eat fish, insects, and other small animals. At first glance, some people might be tempted to call them ducks, but they are not ducks. Loons have sharper bills that help them catch fish and other small aquatic animals. They have more waterproofed feathers, and the webbed feet are further back on their bodies. The placement of their legs further back makes them stronger swimmers, but it means they're not very good at walking. Being awkward on land isn't too big of a problem for loons because they spend almost all of their time either on the water or flying. They only come to land to lay eggs. Loons are fairly long-lived, with a lifespan of 15 to 30 years. They will lay one or two eggs in the spring, but they don't build an actual nest. They lay their eggs in a scrape, which is a shallow dent or depression on the ground. Sometimes they'll build a little mound out of mud, but since loons can't really walk or travel over land, they always nest right by the water. Loon chicks are precocial, which means they're born with downy feathers and can swim immediately after hatching. But when they're little, they also like to ride around on their parent's back. You can often see loon families with the little ones perched on one of the parent's backs as they swim around. When loons are on the water, they're incredibly graceful and fast. They usually just use their feet to move around, but if they want to move much faster, they can also use their wings to push themselves forward, a behavior called wing rowing. Loon's primary source of food is fish, and they're amazing swimmers. They can dive up to 200 feet deep and can stay underwater for five minutes at a time. They have several adaptations that make them such good swimmers. The first is really dense bones. Loons have heavier bones than other birds, which makes it easier for them to dive and swim, but it also makes getting into the air more challenging. Most species can only take off from the water, and even from water, they need a running start. This means if a loon makes a mistake and lands in a wet parking lot thinking it's a lake, it won't be able to get into the air again. They actually need water to be able to fly. Their second adaptation is webbed feet. Their feet are fully webbed to make it easier to paddle or swim when they're diving. And the third adaptation is one we mentioned already, long feet that are placed far back on their body. These feet have impressive mobility, and since they're located further back on the loon's streamlined body, the loon is really good at changing direction when it swims. It can pivot and turn around at a moment's notice, which helps it catch its favorite food, small fish. You can really see how when underwater, the position of the loon's feet and legs are a huge advantage. But when the loon is on land, not so much. With loons being such amazing swimmers, you might be tempted to think they can't fly very well. But that's not the case. Although most loons need water to be able to get into the air, once they're flying, they're very strong flyers. The common loon has been tracked flying more than 70 miles per hour when migrating. That's faster than the speed limit for cars on the freeway. All species of loon migrate. They have summer grounds where they breed, and then wintering grounds near the ocean where they spend the winter months. They can travel long distances when migrating. Some birds have been recorded flying more than a thousand kilometers in less than 24 hours. These beautiful birds are also good indicators of water quality. They prefer lakes where water is clear and food is abundant. 
So if you hear this sound, you know you're near a beautiful water ecosystem. We hope you enjoyed learning more about loons. Don't forget there's a free worksheet that goes along with this video, which is part of our Ornithology for Kids series. If you've enjoyed this video, help us make more content like it by giving the video a like and sharing it with your friends. And if you join us on Patreon, you can find a bonus lesson on how to draw a red-throated loon. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.